Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in this particular uh, video I will be talking about natural language processing that is also called NLP. If you like this video please uh, do click on the like button and also share and subscribe us. Uh, press on the notification uh, button so that you are uh, notified each time I post my videos. Um, now without wasting any further time let's get started. Now, um, in this particular video, I'll be using a uh, Jupyter notebook via Anaconda ID. You can use any any other platform to for writing your Python language. Um, now, when I say uh, when I talk about natural language processing, I basically mean to understand the emotion of the text, uh, which otherwise is not possible, and processing the data in such a way that a or a text in such a way that a uh, that a conclusion can be drawn out of it or you can say we can explore a data in certain way that a conclusion is drawn uh, now on the screen you see that uh, I am importing the NLTK library that is National Language uh, Processing uh, Toolkit in uh, in Jupyter uh, I am also importing Pandas library and I am also importing NumPy here now for this particular um, for to uh, make this particular video I am using um, a data a review data uh, which which after importing pandas and numpy we are able to uh, extract from the path and the sheet name this to a data frame uh, to a data frame or data frame df here to look at the data entirely we are uh, to look at the data of top five uh, rows we see that uh, use head method and in the rating column we have the rating of the reviews and in um, rev in the review date we have the date on which the date the day the reviews have been posted the review paragraph whatever review has been written and then the review of the um, review title what is the title of the review and also the site on which this review was given so this is again a hypothetical data uh, which has been created just to uh, just to get you familiar with this uh, particular um, way of writing things now in the first step would be to extract this particular column and uh, use uh, tokenization method manually so how do we calculate how do we tokenize something so let's understand what tokenization uh, means first but before that let's first extract that paragraph and um, uh, so for extracting that paragraph and changing it into a completely case less uh, text what we are doing is we are using apply method that is apply method and using a lambda that is anonymous function and um, applying the calling that extracting that data frame from the particular that data itself and using the lambda function over it so the and storing it back or overwriting the the same after changing it into a lowercase the entire data or text into lowercase we are storing it or um, rewriting it uh, in this particular uh, column again uh, here you can see on the screen we have amazing staff my purpose of visit business and so on and so forth uh, the data is uh, in uppercase and lower lowercase so this will help us uh, uh, change the case of the entire review here now once that is done now what we are going to do is we are going to extract that particular um, review in in uh, into a textual format so for that what i'm doing is i'm storing a uh, an empty string in a variable and i'm creating a loop wherein each review is going in the i value first and then the i value is being used to add that whatever is in the review uh, paragraph into the the empty string so a plus the empty string plus I whatever the first review is into a and so on and so forth once we print that we get this this entire text in this format now I'm using I'm use I am extracting this in this uh, uh, till the uh, 1000 1000 uh, 
text you can do it for the entire data itself the data was very large that is why i've used only a certain number of rows uh, or the rows to be printed here now what i am going to do is um, not rows exactly the strings the characters basically which are displaying here now what i am going to do is i am going to split this entire data into um, uh, into a, a list for that i what i am doing is i am using a dot split method this is the entire text and dot split method by default changes everything to um ever splits the data or the text in in space from the space so here we don't need to write anything in the parenthesis and we are storing it in a variable now again checking how my data looks i have extracted the first uh, 100 uh, indexes here to see how my data looks and this is what my data looks like so here we have the um, data extracted now what i want to do is i want to remove the punctuations from the entire data set so for that uh, again i'm using i'm going to use um, the regex uh, library here regular expression that is called regular expression has a lot of um, meta characters which can help us formulate a way in which we can um, just remove only the um, only the punctuation marks and then we are uh, then we are good to go. So here I am uh, importing regex and I am here also importing the string library and in string library um, sorry in that re dot uh, from regex we are importing re dot compile method and we are showing all the uh, all the string here in this particular box of list format and we are escaping all the string punctuation so whatever the string punctuations are there which are stored in the string function um, library we are uh, accessing the punctuation method and then we are using the escape method to escape escape all the punctuations and we are storing it in rp now what i am doing is i am creating again a list comprehension where i uh, use a for loop where each time a is going in i and i is being uh, uh, i the whatever i has is being uh, substituted if there is a punctuation mark into an empty uh, string again in the empty quotes so once that is done the entire text is finished it will be stored in the st variable now again we are using the again we are uh, extracting the first hundred uh, indexes um, from the list and we are looking at the data set here we uh, in the if we compare this we can see that here order dot 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 is uh, a string and is a punctuation which can be removed which is removed let's see yes see order ordered most must and here we see that the dot 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 has been removed from here the full stops are removed so we we see that the, uh, with this example that this has already happened now uh, we are also going to remove a non printable items in case there are any small uh, smileys or anything like that which is there we are going to remove that as well and for that again we are using the re escape method and we are using our uh, string dot printable method and we are storing that printable method in rp again and again the st is going to move in a for loop and each word once in i is then compared and then we will be able to uh, check if the if the string that particular uh, index of string has any uh, printable variables or not if yes then escape otherwise no so that's that and again we are using again we are printing 200 uh, indexes here now again we are using removing all empty quotations so in case there are any empty quotations in the data set we are also going to remove that uh, in case not then see here we have empty quotations uh, whatever wherever there were empty quotations at the end we need to remove that after treating the entire data so now empty quotations can be removed with the help of again using the same fr which we have stored above the text and using a for loop if there is an empty quote st dot remove empty quote and store it in fr so once we do that all the empty quotes will be removed from the entire 
text that we have here now um, this is called uh, tokenization where the uh, text is basically uh, converted into small smaller units or you can say that uh, smaller units or parts and uh, this particular uh, method is called tokenization here uh, what we are doing is using uh, there was manual tokenization now let's see how nltk can help us do the tokenization in different ways and how tokenization is possible in um, with the help of uh, NLTK library. So from NLTK library, import send, uh, send tokenize. Send tokenize, what it does is, it actually uh, tokenizes or uh, it converts uh, an entire paragraph into sentences. So that this, there are not words, but sentences being uh, indexed over on in a list. So and NLTK dot tokenize with import word tokenize word tokenize method. What it does is it converts the entire string into uh, into small words, smaller words instead of sentences. So you break down a you break down a, a paragraph into sentences with the help of send tokenize, and you break down the word uh, uh, break down the words or uh, using a word tokenize method. Again, importing the same library we have df review again case folding your entire thing and um, and again looping the entire data and storing it in a text format once we have that text format all you, we can do is we can use that uh, uh, word tokenize method and we can create this we can add we can get this a here from here and we can tokenize the entire text into um, words and here is the here is an example of that we got the same result by using a using a method instead of doing everything manually without using a for loop so this is what tokenize what tokenize method does now let's quickly move ahead um, here what we are doing is if uh, i is alpha if i is alpha then um, we are we are using again for loop and st is being stored in i each word is stored in i and then i is checked in alpha if the word is true then it is stored in i and then finally stored in w ultimately so by that we see that we can uh, directly remove the if there is nothing related to alphabets that can be directly removed with with this particular for loop now if we move ahead we we even want to make the sentence smaller the logic is that since is and the and all that are used so um, frequently and off and all that that actually causes us to um, that or actually causes the entire text to become way larger than it should or uh, already is so we can, what we can do is we can re reduce the corpus of the the entire text and we'll get the actual words which which actually means something which can tell us if something is positive or negative say, negatively said because of is and the cannot be uh, cannot be judged in that respect so we will remove that and to remove that what we are doing is we are using nlt dot corpus uh, module and from that we are uh, extracting stop words method from top uh, stop words we are uh, we are using the words method and whatever word is in English please remove that and again storing it in SW uh, STW here now this now for uh, now the dub the entire uh, list is in uh, W so again we are using um, uh, a loop which helps us extract one one data from this and if the data is not in swd then you store it in i and then that can be stored in w ultimately um, ultimately uh, we get um, a result which looks like that from changing the words from off here to see first hundred words now we do not have first hundred words and um, what we ultimately get is um, an entire text without 
of words so let's try to find out uh, the last word here is meal um, so let's see if we can find that out so here is the meal word so see that how many how many indexes it has moved backward here so that many stop words were removed so in reality here the hundredth hundredth index was and or you can say 99th index because the this particular value runs on count basis so here it has moved way above the indexes um, and uh, that's that now let's let's quickly stem the words as well now the term stemming me basically means that um, you are uh, reducing a word say find or fine from say finest from fine so that find finest and all these kind of words are same so we are reducing again we are reducing the corpus of the word what we are trying to do here is that suppose that anything is said can be in the text taste can be in the in the text tasty tasteful so we are reducing this full this three words from uh, taste tasty tasteful to taste only so in that or tasked in this regards so stemming is reducing the words to the 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 its original form and removing the additional words that actually the adjective or that adjective wala part or anything like that from the sentence word so that again the corpus is reduced so if there are two times taste word two times a word tasty and tasteful are there so in that case taste and tasteful are going to be the same words we are cutting the words from between where the actual meanings remains the same uh, or the meaning of the word is there but the 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 corpus has been reduced in that regard so for that what we are doing is we are importing potter method in, uh, from the nltk library and potter stemmer is the method which you are using and we are storing it in a variable potter and in that particular uh, in this we, what we are doing is we are using the dot stem method from that and we are using a for loop each time a word goes in it stems that word and we have it in stored in stem and we see that here completed completely is com changed to complete diminished or diminishing is changed to diminish service is changed to cervic taste is changed to taste restaurant is changed to restaurant restore and so on and so forth ignore as uh, ignore re is changed to ignore only r here and that's it now this particular method helps us stem the word that is cut the word so that um, the repetitions are removed and only the representative of the word remains so so that we don't have a lot of words to deal with now now here another method called lemmatizer is being used word lemmatizer is being used uh, instead of um, stemming you can also use a uh, lemmatization approach to um, reduce your words uh, to its you uh, its actual meaning to reduce it the words uh, to its meaning meaningful base in reality so but the difference between um, lemmatization and um, stemming is that lemmatization considers the context and converts the words to its meaningful base form whereas stemming word just removes the last few characters often leading to incorrect meanings and spelling errors so what you can do is you can use both the methods and you can see that which method works for your text the best in this case again we are using uh, uh, we, uh, here we are using wordnet lemmatizer from the nltk library and storing the method in lem 
and again using the same loop format we are looping the values in i and then changing and converting it into um, that uh, lemmatizing it into uh, uh, its base where uh, base meaning and then uh, sorting it in lem variable and then printing the first 200 values here so care can be careful here time can be timed and uh, meetings can be we can see here and yeah a lot of words uh, in previous uh, previously were being cut short here all the words are not cut, uh, cut short but actually the uh, only the words which can be should be uh, stripped off can be uh, uh, can be changed in this particular uh, method now um, I will just close this uh, or uh, bring this video to an end on this note and in my next video I'll teach you how to apply logistic regression on a data to predict um, uh, to predict whether the review was uh, a negative review or a positive review um, and what is the term polarity and uh, subjectivity mean uh, till then um, see you guys but before going uh, or signing off i would um, like you to please uh, if you can or if you like this video please um, um, click on the like button and subscribe us, uh, subscribe us if you haven't already please share our video in case you want it you you want your friends to um, know what this particular nlp uh, how to apply nlp uh, in particular also if you want to know more about uh, nlp or if you want to know more about the dexlab analytics you can go on the website www.dexlabanalytics.com also you can call us or uh, whatsapp us on the uh, the numbers given on the screen you can also write us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com we are currently placed in godgaon um, take care bye bye